Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and today I have three different Instant Pot soups to share with you. Well, technically one is a chili, but it is definitely more on the like liquidy side. <laughs> so I'm just adding it along with two other soup recipes and that is what I have to share with you guys today. I've actually gotten a lot of comments here lately on some of my older Instant Pot videos. So I know a lot of you guys have just recently gotten an Instant Pot for Christmas. So I definitely wanted to go ahead and make a new video to share with you guys some more recipes and with it being kind of like the colder season, depending on where you live, I am in Texas. So we still have our 70 plus days, but today when I am starting our soup recipes, it's actually 35 degrees outside right now so I am loving it I am nice and cozy and definitely enjoy when the weather takes that little bit of a dip and we can pretend like it's really winter right so soup season is on for us that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys I also wanted to share a new channel that I recently started following her name is Valerie over at the Hargett life so I will have her channel linked in the description box. She is going to be sharing some soup recipes with you guys today as well. So I know you guys are going to love her. She is super cute and she shares a lot of food in her kitchen, grocery hauls, lots of recipes. She definitely enjoys cooking and you guys can tell that from her video. So please, after you guys watch what I'm sharing with you guys, go check her out. Leave her a lemon emoji if you are new to her channel so she knows that I sent you. So I'm gonna take you guys over here on this side of my kitchen and I'm gonna share with you guys the soups that I made for my family this week. All right, the first soup recipe we are going to make is a ham and a bean soup. So I will have the recipe that I'm kind of going off of linked in the description box, but here are the ingredients that I'm going to be using. I've got salt and pepper, a tomato, some minced garlic, one carrot, an onion, some thyme, paprika, a little bit of olive oil, a vegetable broth. I've got three cans of cannellini beans here, a pound of diced ham, and then one and a half cups of water. So let me go ahead and get these three items right here chopped up. Okay, now that we have those diced up, let's go ahead and start cooking. So we are going to start by pressing the saute button on our Instant Pot. While it gets hot, we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil into the pot there. Okay, it has been just a couple minutes and I don't have much left in this jar, maybe like three teaspoons, so that's probably enough. But I'm gonna go ahead and add in my garlic as well as the carrot, tomato, and onion. Okay, I've got all those mixed up and then just stirring occasionally. I'm going to let these cook in here for about five minutes. Okay, if you did want this to be a just true dump and go, you could totally skip this step and not saute your veggies. You could just dump everything in and cook it, but I do just like this step to it to get the veggies nice and softened and the garlic really infused with everything. So now I'm adding in the entire bag, one pound of diced ham, the three cans of cannellini beans. I did drain them. One teaspoon of thyme, one teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of pepper, two teaspoons of salt. Just gonna give these a quick mix before I add any of the liquid. Okay, I'm adding in my one and a half cups of water and my carton of vegetable broth, which equals to about four cups. All right, I'm gonna stir this up one more time. So my saute button is still on. You have to press cancel to turn that off. I'm going to get my lid on. Make sure it is sealing, not venting, or your pot will not come to pressure. All right, and then the model that I have, the IP Duo, has a manual button. All this does is automatically put it onto high pressure. So whatever model you have, check your book. 
you're gonna press either like pressure cook or I really don't know because mine says manual, but whatever button you need to press to get it onto high pressure, that's what you're going to do. And you're going to cook it for 15 minutes. So the pot does have to come to pressure first, which with as much liquid that is in here, it's probably going to take at least 15 minutes. And then the pot will start counting the 15 minute timer down. So it'll be a good probably 30 minutes before we come back to our soup. All right, so my 15 minute timer just went off. There's definitely, my little knob is up, so that means there is pressure in my pot, but I'm not going to release the pressure just yet. So if I were to release it, that's called a quick release, but I'm going to let it release naturally, which means the, it, the pot's off, it's not cooking anymore, it's on just the keep warm function right here. So I'm going to let it sit here for 10 minutes, and then if after 10 minutes there's still any pressure, I will release the rest of the pressure, but it does start counting up. So you can see it's already been one minute since the timer went off. So once this says 10, I will go ahead and release any remaining pressure. Okay, my 10 minutes is up. There's still pressure in my pot. So I'm just going to carefully, you're not, you don't wanna keep your hand over here when you are releasing or you know turning the knob to venting because you could burn yourself. It's very, very hot, the steam is hot, but just keep your hand off to the side and turn it and the rest of the steam will come out. All right, soup is done. It smells super delicious. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just Spoon this out into everybody's bowl so it can start cooling off a little bit because it is a piping hot. You guys can see the water is still moving a little bit in here from all the steam. But there you go, there's your super delicious and pretty easy ham and bean soup in the Instant Pot. Okay, we're gonna whip up some chicken chili. So I already have one package. It was like just under one and a half pounds of chicken tenders. You could use chicken breast also. Probably chicken breast is better, but I already had these tenders in my freezer, so I'm just trying to use up what I have. I'm adding in one can of Rotel, and then I have three cans of this great northern beans, so I'm going to add all three in. I'm not going to drain them. I need the juices so my Instant Pot can come to pressure. All right, now that I've got all of that in, I'm adding in two tablespoons of taco seasoning. I buy mine in bulk, so I have a big container. But if you do not, just one packet is fine. And then the same thing with ranch seasoning. So I have a big container, so I'm just adding in two tablespoons, but one packet is totally fine as well. All right, I'm just going to mix all of these ingredients together. Make sure my chicken is nice and coated. Okay, that is it. Time to get the lid on. Make sure it is turned to sealing and not venting. All right, again, with my model, the IP Duo, I do have a manual button. All this does is put it on high pressure. So whatever button you need to press to get your pot to high pressure, that is what you are going to put, and then I am going to cook this one at 15 minutes, and then I am going to do a quick release. So as soon as my pot comes to pressure, and then that 15 minute countdown is done, I'm gonna come over here, and as soon as it beeps, I will turn it to venting, and that way all the steam can release. All right, time is up and the knob is to the top, so it means that there's definitely pressure in here. So I'm gonna keep my hand to the side and I'm just going to turn this and let all the steam come out. All right, so I'm gonna set you guys down in a second, but I wanted to show you how it looked right done from cooking. So I'm gonna go ahead and shred up my chicken and then our chili will be ready to serve. All right, I've got my chicken shredded. Normally I use my hand mixer, but since this is pretty soupy, that would have made a complete disaster of a mess. So I just pulled out all the pieces and shredded all of them up just by using two forks. So we're gonna get this back into our soup or our chili and mix it all together. 
All right, you guys, and here is our Taco Ranch chicken chili. Normally, I would, since there's not a whole lot of veggies in here, have something else on the side, but tonight, we're just taking it nice and easy. So I've got some chips out for the kids. I also put out some shredded cheese, but I just wanted a little bit of sour cream on mine. So I'm just gonna mix the sour cream all in here, get it nice and creamy, and this is our quick and easy Instant Pot dinner for tonight. Okay, last recipe I'm going to share with you guys in this video is a vegetable beef soup. Now, I love all three of these recipes. However, any kind of vegetable soup is always my favorite. I don't know what it is, I just love them all. I think I've shared several different versions, like crock pot, instant pot, like stovetop, all kinds of just vegetable soups. And like I mentioned, I love them all. So this one, is definitely my favorite out of the three. Here's the ingredients that I'm going to be using. So I have eight small potatoes here, three celery. I obviously have not cleaned my celery yet. Four carrots and an onion. I'm going to dice all those up. As far as seasonings, I've got some salt and pepper, oregano, parsley, onion, and garlic powder. For my liquid, this is beef broth left over from a previous recipe, so I'm hoping there's three cups in here. If not, I'm just gonna add water to get me to three cups. I am gonna want three cups for this recipe. I have a can of petite diced tomatoes here, and then as far as my beef, this is a little over a pound, and then I have just another extra ground beef left over from an every plate meal that we just like broke apart and used the ingredients for different things. So that's eight ounces there, but you could use about two pounds if you want. This is just what I have in my freezer and what I'm going to use for this recipe. So like I said, let me get my produce prepped and then we will move over to the Instant Pot and get our soup started. Okay, my produce is prepped. I'm actually gonna cook the onion when I cook the ground beef. So I left that on the cutting board and I got a bowl so I could keep all this contained, the celery, carrot, and potatoes. Those will get dumped in at the same time. So, all right, now it's time to start cooking our vegetable beef soup. All right, so like the first recipe, I am using my Instant Pot like the stove top. So I did press the saute button. I'm putting just a little bit of olive oil in here and I'm gonna let this get hot. Okay, I'm adding in the onions. And then I almost forgot an ingredient. I'm going to add two of these little frozen cubed garlic. And it's just like two teaspoons worth or two garlic cloves minced up. So whatever you have on hand. I've got my ground beef in there. And then I'm not measuring, and I know I already have like garlic and onion in there, but this just gives it so much flavor whenever I'm cooking any type of ground meat. I always add the onion and garlic powder. So like I said, not measuring, just sprinkling a little bit of both in there. And I'm just going to cook this until my meat is completely done. Okay, I've moved to a spoon. My ground beef is cooked through. And now we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. So my can of diced tomatoes all of my produce that I chopped up. So the carrot and celery and potatoes, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of oregano. And then I'm gonna add two teaspoons of parsley. And I had exactly three cups left in my beef broth container. So I'm glad I don't have to dilute it at all with the water. All right, so that is all of my ingredients. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good mix. Okay, I turned the saute off. I'm getting my lid on. As always, make sure it is sealing, not venting. All right, that manual button, again, it's just gonna put it on high pressure, but I'm gonna go down to, uh, we're gonna do five minutes. I'm gonna let it cook for just five minutes. Again, it is gonna take probably about 10 to come to pressure, cook for five, and then we are going to do a quick release. So as soon as my five minute timer is up, I'm going to turn my knob from sealing to venting and release all of the pressure that is in my pot. All right, time is up. So I'm going to release all the pressure by turning my knob from sealing to venting. Okay, the 
knob or a little button there went down. So that means there's no more pressure. It is safe to open. So I've got some sourdough bread in the oven I'm going to pull out. And then some of my kids like to top any kind of like vegetable soup with Parmesan cheese. So this is our delicious Instant Pot soup that we are having for dinner tonight. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know which one you are looking forward to making first in the comment section. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Don't forget to go show Valerie some love. Her link is in the description box. If you guys are coming over from Valerie's channel, hi, welcome. I hope you guys enjoyed these soup recipes and you hit that subscribe button and you join me here. Give this video a big thumbs up if you are looking forward to more Instant Pot videos. I know I don't share them too often. I was in the past and I just kind of stepped back from it. But if you guys want some more Instant Pot inspiration, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.